I was perusing around my house here, and uh, we've got a little bit of bad news. Now, this news is not really, you know, the good kind of news. Do I have blocks of coal? I do have blocks of coal, all right. This is not the good kind of news. It's the bad kind of news. Now, you guys remember a couple episodes ago, uh, the one that I did solo, not the one with Jerome, uh, where we had an incident where, well, we didn't have an incident, but I went ahead and got some Easter bunnies out of my, uh, you know, I got some Easter bunnies. The problem that we have over here is that uh, the Easter bunny is no longer here. Um, now I don't know how this happened necessarily. All I remember was, so uh, last night I AFK'd, um, all on top of here, right? I was trying to make sure, like, I think I was right up here and I had like my F5 on like this, right? I don't have the recording. Um, but when I came around at like at one point or whatever, when I brushed through, like when I brushed past my computer, I saw the rabbit actually out of the pen. I didn't act on it for some reason. I don't know why I didn't, but, uh, our bunny ran away. Now, he didn't despawn because I did use a, a zookeeper shard, which those that don't know is a little guy. You bap over his head, and he'll basically, it's like a name tag. They won't despawn after it. Uh, I think I have one here. I can show you guys. Zookeeper. Yeah, so we only have one more of these, actually. These are called the zookeeper shards. Uh, you bap them over the head of something, and they won't despawn. Now, that was all well and good. The only issue is, you know, obviously the rabbit despawn so it's no longer here so that's a little bit of an issue so what i want to do today oh you can break these actually without silk touch and they'll oh okay because this is the ender io glass not just normal glass very cool i like that so what i was thinking of doing then was instead of having it where the guy is like all around like the five blocks here i think i should set it up the way i did with the transportation table on the right there uh are my block sounds really low right now i think they are hold on music sound oh my blocks are really low uh so what i was thinking of doing then in that case was instead of having it where it's five around have it where it's three like this so what we're gonna do then i think is have the guy right here and then we'll have glass kind of along the i don't know if we'll have glass or something we might have some other block in fact we might uh, set it up with like i don't know cloud blocks would be a nice thing maybe clouds for right now i don't actually know i don't really know what blocks i should be using like i said i was gonna um make this look a little bit better later on but i mean that kind of works for right now i guess so i guess in the meanwhile while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the glass and it moves forward a bit. Now, the only downside with this, right, is that we can only really store three chests. So we're going to go ahead and move out uh, two of these guys. I love this portal gun. so nice. I wish Vanilla Minecraft had something as easy as this. But we're going to go ahead and move those two out right here. And we'll just have to work off of these three alone. So we're going to get rid of all of these... Um, hoppers along the corner here Now the only thing i'm a little bit concerned of is i think all these hoppers should work like if i was to throw a cloud down right here uh well not right there obviously if i was to toss one up right there the cloud should go in this chest and it does okay perfect so that still works out fine as long as you remove all these guys here uh one thing i think i'll have to do though because these are attached to that chest i think i'll have to go ahead and because i want to remove these three guys here and then well actually hmm i'm trying to think do we want to have the chest here and then just have it out extended one or do you want to hmm i'm actually not quite sure how i want to do this because i think we might just have the chest like in the middle right there yeah let's go ahead and move the chest forward one so we'll do ooh, uh right there so we'll do that we'll do that and we'll do right there okay now the question is you are stone bricks i want to see if i have any more stone bricks that i can use uh stone that's uh oh i can't, forgot i can't type t for some reason uh so stone brick so let's see i have 33 of these guys right here now i gave my chisel these are oh these are the same kind okay perfect i thought they were like a darker version i was like no i don't have them but i remember i gave my chisel to jerome so i'll have to make a new one of those uh but either way so we'll go ahead and get the floor done along here i think it's actually already going to make this thing look a lot better um what i might actually take some time to do right now is just hmm I think just for this... Oh, God. <laughs> I did not expect there to be cloud underneath there, but I guess I should remember that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, let's see. Do I need to... Oh, I don't have my belt of... No, I did... Okay. I thought I gave my belt of flight to Jerome. I gotta remember I did not. So, one, two, three there. Then we'll go ahead and remove uh, that block there and that block there. And we'll put down one, two, and three. Now, I don't think this should be visible at this point. Now, can you see any grass? Oh, you can see just a little bit of it. We'll fix that up a little bit later. But either way, so we got the chest down right there. Now, how do we want to do... There was one thing we could do, and I think it's called a carpenter's... Now, I know Kara's used this before, and I want to see whether or not. So, a carpenter's... Uh, let's see. Hold on. Not carpent's. Uh, carpenter's 
Where is it? It's a garage door, I believe. So we have Carpenter's Prison Salt, Block, Barrier, Bed, Button, uh, Collapsible Block. Was that Hammer? What was this? Button? Yeah, Collapsible Block, Daylight Sensor. That looks really cool. Door, Flower Pot, Garage Door. Okay, so the Garage Door is made out of eight of these Carpenter Blocks alongside. We should have a ton of Carpenter Blocks, if I do recall. If we go over here, uh, look up Carpenter Block. Oh, we've got mad stacks of them. Okay. I don't know why I'm talking like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and do these right here. So I've never used these before. <clears throat> Apologies to my voice. I've never used these before, so I'm a little bit concerned of how this is actually going to work. But if we were to go ahead and place down maybe... Hmm, I'm actually not sure how this is going to work right here. What if we put a block down right there just for reference? Let me put one down. How do we actually do this? So we need to put... Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. So let's see here then. So, okay. This is really cool. So if I was to do that, okay, interesting. So now, what if I was to remove the dirt here, just like that, and then have this go all the way down? Is that gonna hit? That's gonna hit the floor, all right? Can I open? I can open the chest from there. Very nice. Okay, so there's that now. Now the only question is that I've got here. Let's go ahead and actually put the clouds uh, in the corner right here. If I have, for example, um, if I put the clouds right in here, ooh, ooh, damn. Hey, that looks really strange, and it's actually, how do I, you know what? How do I like that? I'm not actually even sure if I like that. I don't know what my th what my thoughts are on that, but you know what? I think it's okay. I think my thoughts on it aren't really all that bad. Um, So we got like a little like stare, that's really strange here. Uh, Do we have a carpenter's barrier that we, hold on, the carpenter's barrier, how do you make these? So it's made out of sticks. And, okay, so do we have sticks on us right now? Let me actually go ahead and grab, let's put away the garage, well, actually, we keep the garage door on us right now. So, Carpenter. Carpenter right here, we'll go ahead and take, not the Carpenter's hammer, we'll go ahead and take this guy right here. And then I believe we need a little bit of sticks, so we'll go ahead and put some dirt and grass along there. So, do we have, uh, sticks in here? We do not have, hold on, I forgot I can't type T. Six. Uh, stick, do we have sticks? We have 20 of them. Okay, good. So we can go ahead and do it like that, and then carpenter block along here, and sticks along the corner, and we'll go ahead and make, I guess, 40 of these guys here. Now let's take a look at how the carpenter's barrier looks if we were to do, like, maybe one, two, three, and then just have these guys as the, uh, the clouds. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That looks, I want to see this from the outside, because I can actually take a little visible look here. Uh, let me open the door real fast. So you... That is the most odd thing I think I've ever seen, but you know what? I think I actually want to do it. Now, clouds, on the other hand, though, I don't know whether or not, hmm, I don't actually know. Can I walk through? Now, I'm not able to walk through these clouds, right? Like, I'm able to get on top of them, but I can't walk through the clouds. So our bunny shouldn't be able to escape here. And I don't think, for what I'm seeing here, that the bunny will be able to escape anything around the door here. Now, the bunny can get down here, actually. Ooh. Hmm. So the bunny can actually get down there to where, oh, I didn't know the bunny could actually, or the, like, a player could actually sit on top of this, or on the bottom here. That's a little bit of an issue. So what if we were to put maybe, like, a barrier down? It can't do that. Well, actually, hmm, what if we were to put a barrier down, um, like, oh, I can't place a barrier down right there? I can't place a barrier down along here. That's strange. Why not? Oh, I can't place a barrier, like, anywhere. Let's remove the carpenter's, uh, garage door real fast, because I think that might be preventing... Yeah, it did, okay. So let's go ahead and remove the barriers then. I don't know why I'm making this all cloud-like, but I think it kind of looks... I don't know, it looks a little bit weird. It's not really, like, my full design, but, I don't know, it looks neat, I guess. Uh, so anyways, we'll go ahead and grab... Uh, we got everything we need there. So one, two, and three. So now, I don't think the bunny... So the bunny can't get through there now, right? Okay. So we got that done. Maybe I should have just done a carpenter slab, possibly? We'll go ahead and put clouds down right there. So one, two, and three. Alright. So now let's put the garage door, uh, one, two, and three right there. There we go. And then clouds... Do we have to put nine? Really? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we have to put down all, for all nine. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So we can make a little design there. In fact, we could actually even remove the middle one right here. Maybe I want to put this like a different color cloud or something. So like maybe we do one right there, one right there, and then maybe something for the middle. In fact, you know what? Do I have, uh, oh, you know what I might actually want to try, guys? I've got an idea. What if we were to do something like this, okay? But if you go over here... And we grab up our little... Now, this might look really ugly because these, you know, these guys don't really look the most pretty in the world. What if we grab one of these here and we bring this over here and we put this in the middle for the carpenter block? Because I think that might actually work, right? If I was to do that... Okay. Hmm. You know, 
why not? Uh, you know, sure. We'll just leave it as that. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, but you can kind of get in and out. Uh, so anyways, uh, if I was to go ahead and place a bunny down, which we obviously are going to have to since it's gone right now, we only have one super keeper shard. I think you can get these from killing nightmares, which we've got a multitude of. So let me go ahead and grab these. So like I said before, the beautiful thing about Easter bunnies is these things actually will spawn more Easter bunnies uh, through these guys. So we've got three little Easter bunnies spawn eggs right now. So we're going to go ahead and pop this guy right there. Smack him with that. So now he'll never despawn. And if everything goes over perfectly, this guy should not be able to get out. Even if I open the garage door, he shouldn't be able. Because I can't right now. I want to test this, right? He can't walk over this, right? Can you get out of there? I don't think there should be any way for this bunny to be able to get out of this little chamber that I've got. In fact, actually, we could just design something really freaking cool right now. Because there's no other openings in this guy. So there shouldn't be any way for... I don't even know how this guy got out in the first place. I have no how did how did you escape this room was it it might have been through the glass but then again uh, there was no openings I have zero clue how this guy escaped all I know is he did these guys are really weird creatures I don't understand them but all I know right now doesn't look like he's able to escape we got a little garage door handle and we're able to open up these guys we've got a lot of carpenter blocks or whatever stone slabs so we'll go ahead and remove those out from there but yeah this guy's trapped in here even if you open the garage door he's not able to get out that is just freaking awesome in fact if I had more zookeeper shards in fact, you know what I might actually do in the meanwhile here? I know I don't have zookeeper shards, but I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, spawn in a couple more of these bunnies right here. Just because I know they'll be gone and like I'm kind of wasting them right now. But I mean, we've got like a multitude of pretty much unlimited Easter bunny spawn eggs. So, I mean, we might as well get like three times the efficiency while we're just waiting right now. You know what I mean? So either way, those guys are perfect. So what I was going to go ahead and do this episode... Let me go ahead and bring over here. I wanted to just kind of fill that in and just kind of, uh, I guess, secure the bunny location, secure the intelligence. Um, we'll go ahead and remove everything in here that we don't need. Eggs, stone bricks, uh, seeds we don't need. Actually, no, do we need seeds? We do need seeds. Never mind. Can I have like a stack of seeds back? All my seeds? All right, there we go. We got a chicken, uh, quartz right there, and we got our fish. All right, perfect. So what I wanted to do today was I actually wanted to go ahead and see what we've got for the Big Bertha now because I had mentioned before to you guys that I really want to craft the Big Bertha before we go in to fight the, uh, what's it called? Those towers or whatever. Plus, just a really cool weapon to have, especially to turn it back into the slice too. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, so we've got the ultimate sword. Let me go ahead and look up the Big Bertha here. Uh, oh, no. I just accidentally full screen my Minecraft. Rip. What the fudging what? Oh. They can get through those corners and then escape. Oh. Oh. Noted. So now... Okay, so... They're able to get out through the corners. That doesn't explain how they were able to get out of my house. Because they're here. Maybe... It was through this blue portal here? I don't know how they would have been able to get out through there. Because the orange portal is nowhere near here. Okay, uh, either way, let's go ahead and fix that then. So do we have our good old carpenter, uh, where is the, do we are, oh, we already have them in our inventory. So we got our barriers right here, and we have our cloud. Can I get the cloud out? Do we need a, what was it, a fluffy cloud? I think it was just a, was it chisel two? Or was it a cold, I think it was just a chisel, wait a minute, what block is this? What cloud are you supposed to be? You are the chisel, okay, so you're the chisel two cloud block. All right, so let's go ahead then, um, I guess just move this guy right here. So now we can put a cloud there, there we go. And we'll do the same thing right here. So we got a cloud up in there. So now this shouldn't, okay, this is really interesting. I didn't know it was actually a thing. So I, I guess I should have figured that, but these guys weren't moving around, so I didn't figure that anything was a problem. Oh yeah, and that's also a problem too. They are still really close to the area, so I don't know whether or not those items are actually outside of my house. I really hope they're not, but... Okay, so now these guys shouldn't escape. So let's go ahead and do this beautiful thing called taking our portal gun uh, and moving these guys in. See, you wouldn't be able to catch these guys either way. Like, okay, so we'll drop that guy in right there. And where is the other... So I don't know which one of the... Oh, whoop. Uh, do not... Okay, do not take us time to escape through that one little block. Let me grab you. All right, ah, come on. Come on, don't be that guy. All right, I don't know which one of these is Zookeeper Shard. Either way... We'll keep an eye on them. They're moving around quite a bit. I think they're pretty angry that their plan was foiled. But uh, I think either way, they should be not able to escape. And if they still escape, either let me actually check real fast here. Are these eggs outside of my house? 
They are not. They're inside the glass. Okay, good. So now comes the time of trying to see which items we're going to have for the Big Bertha. So, number one is going to be Molinites, which we've already got right here. So we're going to need from it. In fact, you know what? Let me actually take some time real fast here and clear my inventory. Because this guy is, uh, we got a lot of stuff in our inventory that we really don't need. So, uh, Feather, Bone, Nether Quartz we are going to need. And then the Seeds. I don't know why these guys keep getting, like, pushed around here. Flounder, Mothra. Probably should be putting all these guys in somewhere else. But we can just look up Spawn if we need to. Uh, yeah, we'll just dump all of them right there. Giant Spider Robots are my favorite. Favorite. I really hope that we get to spawn one of those guys in soon. Either way, so I guess what would probably be a good idea would be to fight these guys on... I actually don't know where a good fighting location would be. In fact, where does this portal take me? This takes me to the Jerome's place, isn't it? I think... Yeah, okay. So, ooh, hello, Jerome. Yo, my man making some progress up here. Looking nice. I like this, my dude. It's got like... Hey, you know what? Hey, Jerome, I give him some credibility. He's only a few episodes in. He's already got himself a nice little house right here. Inventory pets. Dude, Jerome's is already getting off on him, man. I like it a lot. And he's got, like, his little infinite spawner or whatever, these green slimes. So that's just cute. Uh, so that's an orange portal right there. Let's go ahead and spawn these guys in, I guess, below Jerome's house or kind of, like, around here. So this is, like, a good little... This is a good battle location. So we'll get an orange portal down right about there. So the first one's a Molinoid. Uh, let's go ahead and actually put on our ultimate gear just so we don't wind up dying in a heartbeat. And we do have the ability to fly some Molinoid. Is this guy right here? Uh, I really don't like these guys all that much, but they're kind of like the boss ones that slow you down a ton. Oh, no. We're actually... Okay, thankfully, we have the ability to fly. Otherwise, we would have just gotten murked in quicksand right there. And we have 19 hearts, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So now we've gotten that, guy. So we need the nose from you. So we've got the Molinoid nose. That is step number one. The second guy that we're going to need... I've got a little thing, uh, by the way. I've got... As you can see, I took a lot of screenshots. So I've now got a list of everything by name. So the next one that we're going to need is the sea monster scale. Well, we'll go ahead and put this over here. So Molinoid nose down right there. And the next one is uh, Sea Monster. So this guy's another brown one. We're going to take a look. So do I have Sea Monster? I do. I have nine of these guys. All right. We can go ahead and put the Molinoids away back in there. Hop back through and Sea Monster. Now, here's the thing. Sea Monster. What are you going to... Oh, it's just this little guy. Oh, it's one of you. Hey, all right. So we're going to need from you the Sea Monster Scale which uh all right where are you i think yeah it's right there okay good so we got step number two i love easter bunnies it's the easiest way to get this big bertha and that's the end of the goal by this episode is to have the big bertha so we got sea monster scale next one we're going to need is the jumpy bug scale all right so we got to look for uh mr jumpy so mr jumpy where might you be located i love these you know what hey and there's a certain one that we don't have i'm gonna be shocked like these guys are just they're overpowered they're crazy good all right jumpy bug Oh, yeah, it's these suckers. I remember these guys gave me the worst time in Crazy Craft 3. You guys remember, like, my early... Those have been around for a while. My early days of Crazy Craft 3, I actually felt... Did he go through my portal? I think he went through my portal. He's not here. I think he went through my portal. Maybe we shouldn't fight these guys right next to my portal. That would actually probably be the most ideal thing. So we'll go ahead and spawn in another one, thankfully, because, you know, we have the ability to. But yeah, these guys, I think it was them. It might have been something else. They gave me the worst time in my early days of Crazy Craft 3 because I died to them pretty, like, pretty frequently. And uh, the problem was is they took all my gear and we didn't have the gravestone, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the gravestone mod in there. So my, I, oh my god. When you say jumpy bug, this guy, me, and what are these things right here? So this is a boss jumpy bug, right? What about these little guys? I don't actually know what these little minions, uh, they are that spawning in. I can't, oh, the spit, ah, uh, so these are spit bugs. Then we got the queen jumpy bug up here. Good lord, these guys go up fast. Can I, like, do, please tell me this spit bugs die as soon as I kill this guy. Please, please die as soon as I kill you. All right, we got him, and they unfortunately don't, but it did give me a bit of gear. All right, we actually haven't fought these guys before yet because I'm just getting the morph now. And these guys have quite a bit of health too, like 100 each. Quite a bit of armor as well because it's not dealing the 40 damage that it normally would. So what is it giving? Amethyst right here? You got four health. All right, so what do we got from you guys? You gave us uh, Amethyst leggings with them breaking four. Not bad. And then what did we get? Did we get the uh, jumpy bug scale? I think it's still on the ground somewhere. Where's the good old scale? Is it right there? There it is, baby. That's the one that we need. Okay, so we got three out of the seven to craft up one of these. Like I said, I really wish we had, uh, what's it called? Uh, lucky blocks in this. Oh, tier five. Hell yeah. What are we going to get from you? Thor's pants. 
Baby, that's huge. If you guys don't know, it's tier 1 to 5 in these, and tier 5 is madness. That's actually a really good drop right there. We got more hero suits or whatever. Amethyst ladies, we can go ahead and pop away in there. Iron ingots. Quick fish would actually probably be good to get some food going on. Uh, blind hero bag. We don't need any of the stuff we got right in here. We can keep our transformer sets on. Tier whatever that was. Jumpy bug scale, so we got that down. Alright, so the next one... It's going to be a pretty long episode just like doing this, so you guys are in for a little bit of a treat if you enjoy boss fights. Alright, so the next one right here is going to be a... Uh, oh, did I skip it? I think I... Oh, whoop. Uh, hold up a second. <laughs> I messed up a little bit here. I think... No, it's a moth scale. Okay, so we're looking for uh, a moth. Do we already... Do we not have a moth scale? I think we might already have a moth scale. Uh, so we're looking for, I guess, a mothra, or is it just a moth? It, we might actually only need to use a moth. We got a mothra here... We don't have any moth spawn eggs, though. I think all we need is a mothra, but I'm pretty sure I have a moth scale here. If I look it up, do we have a uh, moth? No, we only have spawn eggs. Okay, so we don't actually have any scales here, so that's fine. So we'll go ahead and get uh, one moth or spawn egg. I'll hop back through here. I think this guy drops a bunch of, uh, what's it called? Um, scales, if I recall. All right, so we're going to kill you up. You're going to take literally seconds. All right, and moth scales. Yes, we got like oodles of them. This guy can actually make moss scale armor as well. We got another star right there. I don't really need it for anything, so we're okay. All right, so we got the moss scales. We only need one of them, even though it drops like millions. Okay, the next one we're going to need is a basilisk scale. Okay, so basilisk. All right, that guy right there. Where is, ooh, what was this guy again? Basilisk, is that, do we have it? Oh, okay, I was swear to God, like I was going to say, if there's one that we don't have from this, I was going to rage. All right, so basilisk, we'll go ahead and put this guy right down. And he just pushed us straight back through the portal, and... Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, guys. He despawned. Because I went through the portal or something. Oh, no. Please somebody have another Basilisk egg in the other chest right here. Please somebody have a Basilisk... Ah, thank God! That makes me very happy. All right, I was going to say, if that was the only one we had, and I just messed it up right there, I would have been brokenhearted right now, because I did not want to have to wait for it to give me another Basilisk game. But either way, thankfully, we've got this thing called Flight, so fighting this guy's not the worst thing in the world. Although, I think it's actually... I think it prevents us from flying. Oh, yeah, it's got that little anchor right there for slowness. I think slowness... Yeah, slowness. I think it prevents us from flying. Okay, so even if... I hate these guys. Like, these are some of the guys we're going to have to fight in uh, the tier dungeon. And this is why I need the extended reach of, um, what's it called? Uh, the slice before we go into this fight. Because this guy right here, we fit him this many times. He's not dealing any damage to us. Ooh, do not trap me in here, please. In fact, uh, I don't even want to trap you in there. Can we, like, get... Oh, God. Hello. Quicksand. Get me out of here. Let me fly. All right. I'm uh, stuck in the quicksand completely. I don't think I can actually get out of this. Yep. Nope. Not able to get out of it, even with flight. Still have slowness on, though. So that's actually probably why. Come on, Basilisk. Let me get... All right, nearly dead. Come on, dude. Get out of here. Come on. Come on out. Oh, now he... Oh, the Basilisk is stuck in the quicksand now. That might actually be a good thing, although I don't actually think I'm able to get to him now. Oh, no. Can I hit him? I can't hit him, though. Oh, no. Please don't let your item fall. I think his items might fall in there. Oh, no. Please, no. Basilisk, this is not the time. Oh, I swear if I have to fight this guy over again, like I'm going to rage. Please. Oh, I can't even hit him. I, I actually can't even hit this guy. I can't hit this guy right now. Oh, no. Oh, come on. There we go. We got one more hit on him. Run it in. Run it in. Come on. Okay. I think he's stuck, though. Uh, his items should not despawn if they fall into that area. We are taking a little bit of damage. This guy is irritating, dude. Of all... Okay. Of all the mobs that I hate in or spawn, this is the most obnoxious one. Because, like, there's nothing you... There's nothing I can do. Let's go in from right here, about here. Let's go in from a little bit. Come on. I don't think I'm able to hit him now. I think he's like, he's submerged into the sand. I don't think I'm able to get it. No, I got another hit on him. All right, one more hit, please. One more hit. Ah, come on. Come on, Basilisk. Your hitbox is shrinking so drastically. Come on. Ah, seven health. There we go. All right, please tell me you dropped it for us. Where is, what is it? It's a Basilisk scale. Where's the Basilisk scale? Do not get me trapped in this right now. This is not what I need. If I could deal like without poison for a few seconds, that'd be fantastic. Basilisk scale. Where are, do, did we get it? No, we definitely did not get it. Is it right in here? I think it might be inside of these. Yeah, I think it's probably... Please don't tell me it's underneath the ground right now. Vassal scale. Thank you, Lord above. That was obnoxious. I probably made so many people angry. I'm sorry. Blame the mod creator, not me. <laughs> All right, so we got that, and we have two more to go. So we need a uh, nightmare scale, which I think actually... I should have a nightmare scale, unless I threw it out somewhere, which I really hope I didn't. Uh, nightmare... I definitely did not throw it out because I definitely don't think I had one to begin with but we'll go ahead and search it up right now so nightmare please tell me I can spawn you in all right don't worry me please thank you <laughs> it's every time like we actually okay we only have two of these 
we got to be cautious and we got to make sure that we use these for the greater good all right where is our food keep her cooked fish out right now spawn this guy in and hopefully please do not be one with 50 million health it's only 125 all right you take a lot of hits on me that's for sure all right come here guy ultimate sword not gonna be enough to hit you definitely not all right want to make sure i don't go through the portal come on you bastard all right, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty low already. This guy's a little bit more of a pain to deal with, but not nearly as much as the Basilisk. I think the Basilisk is probably my worst. I don't think there's a guy that I hate more than the Basilisk. Even, like, the uh, the Hammerheads, and the Hammerheads are obnoxious. Come on, guy. All right, you dead yet? You dead? Can I get a swing on you? Can I get a single swing on you? There we go. Okay, we got him. All right, so now you're going to give us... Ooh, I forgot the best thing about this, too. We get Zookeeper Shards from it as well. So if we want any more Zookeeper Shards, we'll definitely use these guys for them, which we probably do want to use because I think I only have the one rabbit in there. Do I at least have a rabbit? Okay, so all the other ones he spawned, that's fine. We can go ahead and get more later on. So let me go ahead and actually put away the uh, Zookeeper Shards in there. So we have a scale. The final thing that we're going to need for this is the... Let me see here. So we're going to need the Emperor... Oh, the Emperor Scorpion right okay so emperor there we go what do we need do i need another one do we have emperor scorpion spawn eggs we better do we not do we not we don't have any emperor scorpion spawn eggs could you believe it we actually don't have an emperor scorpion spawn egg wow i'm actually pretty surprised uh that we did he just give me one right now if that... Nah. Did you actually just give me one the second that I... Can we get a like rating for this bunny here? Like, seriously? Like, that is just, like... Not even on my video. On his video. If he has a video, drop a like on his video, not mine. What an MV pr freaking P, dude. Like, honestly... Okay, hold on. So, we are going to grab one thing here. Uh, I want to make sure I have an ultimate bow for this fight. Probably something I should have had for a lot of these fights, to be fair. So, we're going to go ahead and spawn this guy in. We only have one. We got to be very cautious about this and make sure that we don't mess up. So, Emperor Scorpion will spawn you in. And, yeah, having a bow for this guy was a great idea. Because this guy actually deals quite a bit of damage, I think. Even in ultimate gear. Actually, I don't think in ultimate gear. I think we should be okay. But, um, yeah, you can see his armor's pretty insane. Uh, he does spawn in those guys or whatever. Does he actually... He does take some pretty good hits by melee. Ooh, actually, melee's a... Yeah, he knocks you back pretty far, though. So, using the bow's a good idea. Want to make sure he doesn't despawn. Because I don't, I don't think these guys do. I'm pretty sure these bosses don't despawn. Now, you've heard of bow spammers, but have you ever heard of something as horrible as me? This guy absolutely, like... I thought the Basilisk was a pain in the ass. This guy thinks I'm a pain in the ass. I feel so bad. I gave him no chance. But we got some diamonds from there. We got what seems to be another clean ultimate bow. Kind of funny how you offer one. You know, you kill someone with basically something that's necessary. But either way, though, guys, we now have a diamond hoe. <laughs> I thought that's what we had. But we got the Emperor Scorpion scale along here. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go ahead and hop back through the portal. So, that is one out of the three items done. That right there is what we needed for, I believe, the Big Bertha Guard. Now, the next thing we're going to need is the other one here. So, we're going to need for you a Kraken. This is going to be a long episode, I think. So, Kraken is the next one that we need. Kraken. Oh. We're going to need the Kraken, aren't we? We're going to have to fight the Kraken, huh? Okay. We got to, uh... <laughs> I like how it still says the Kraken when we search up for it. I forgot the uh, no, don't aspect of this guy. This might not be good. So we have four of those spawn eggs. Okay, here's the deal of how I think we're going to work this, all right? This is, this is the idea that I think that I have. We're going to go ahead and put away a bunch of stuff in here that we don't need. So we got our fish, nightmare, ultimate bow. We're going to need the ultimate bow, obviously. Block of diamond, obsidian egg emerald uh just enough stuff really was that a tier four? Ooh, that was a tier four cloud shark blaze rod uh oh emerald shovel and breaky five it's actually a very useful thing we'll definitely use that in the future uh item frame gold nuggets and uh carpenter's berry okay we'll get rid of a lot of stuff now so now here's the deal all right here's the deal i want to look up where is it charm of life i'm gonna get a charm of life here we got three of them so in case we die we're not gonna lose like everything that we have because this guy picks you up and he deals you quite a bit of damage. You need to just, like, run from it. I think even if you have ultimate gear on. So, we're going to go out here. This guy is going to absolutely murder us. And, uh, really, I think we're just in for a pretty bad time right now. So, let's go ahead and spawn him in in this open area. Probably should not do it anywhere near Jerome's house. Because that would just be... Yeah, we'll do it, uh, Jerome. I love you, bro. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and actually pop on. Our dirt... Our gear's starting to 
quite a bit of durability there. So go ahead and fly pretty far away from drones places because we don't really want to have to, you know, let him deal with this. Uh, so where are we right now in relation to... Okay, so we're pretty far away from everything. Okay, let's spot it down right here. We'll get our uh, portal gun out. So this would be like our new area, I guess. Um, where do we want to place a portal gun down? Right about... Oh, hello, slime. We got a little cute guy over there. Okay, and we're stuck back in this quicksand. Oh, uh, no, don't. Here we go, baby. Three, two, and one. Run away. Don't let him grab you. Don't let him grab you. This guy's a pain in the ass. I think if he grabs me, I'm pretty much, like, instantly KO'd right now. Kraken, how much health does this guy have? I actually don't know. Oh, no. You're going to get close to me, huh? I'm going to let him grab me, I think. I'm, I think I'm going to let him grab me. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. All right. In your windows are too powerful right now. I think because I'm actually flying up right now, it shouldn't be too much. Because I, I don't think he's actually got a grip on me. You know what, actually? I think if I just fly up with him right now, because that's usually the problem is the flight, right? He'll just go, like, way out of our reach and be done. I think right now, we just got to make sure that we've got an empty inventory space like I planned for. So, when he drops his items, we won't just lose them. Because I'm pretty sure this guy right here, ooh, we're going to lose our, uh, we're going to lose the night vision a bit. No! It always happens! It always fudging happens. All right. We got to be quick about this again. So, we're going to spawn him back in, and we're just going to murder him with the ultimate sword. Because we've only got three more tries this. So, cracking back in again. All right. Come here, guy. Do not, for the love of God, go out of the place. We got to basically just hit him down before he's able to escape. And I think we're doing a pretty good job of that right now. He's down a fifth. All right, please, for the love of God, do not get too far out right now. This might actually... If this doesn't work, we're going to have to rethink our uh, our ideas of this. We might have to, like, trap him down. I actually have no idea. I can maybe portal gun him. But I don't want to try that right now. We'll try it out the next time. So, Kraken. All right, he's down half health. We're pretty high up right now, but I think we're quite a bit lower than we were before. This is really nerving right now. Come on. Please get his kill. We're so close. Come on. Less than 200 health. Three hits. Two more hits. No! Again! Okay. We need to think of a better way of doing this. We need to think of a better way of doing this because that's... These guys aren't the easiest to contain in the world. They're really not. They're really not the easiest to contain. I don't know if there's, like, a certain world we could go to that's maybe a bit lower in the ground. We might want to fight these guys maybe in a different dimension. Because it's a little bit of an issue. Hmm. Okay, we have an... I like how there's an Emperor Scorpion out there when we were fighting one before. Now, we're going to need to obviously... Maybe if we... Hmm. Maybe if we go to, like, Y level something really, really, really low. Like, maybe down here. What if we were to spawn them all the way down here? This might actually be a good idea. What if we get rid of this completely? Let me go ahead and actually get my pickaxe back out right there. Let me go ahead and get rid of this guy, okay? Let's try spawning him down here and see how this goes. So, Kraken, we'll go ahead and spawn you back in again. So, we got, yeah, a couple more bonus hits right here. Is he actually, oh, spawning him in a cave, I think, doesn't allow him to fly up anywhere. Okay, because I think he's got a roof over his head. Well, there you go. I mean, that just made this thing a whole lot easier because, I don't know... Do they plan it for, you know, this guy to despawn if it goes up too high? Or, like, the ultimate sword for him to have just enough um, uh, armor? Because this guy seems to take about 25 to 30 hits uh, of damage per sword swing. Even though this thing deals about 47 damage, that's his armor. So, I don't actually know. Either way, I mean, we found a good way. Unless, like, imagine it's just a thing that he despawns after about 100 health. It's like his little flea thing. It's like, you will never kill me! We just never are able to kill him. But either way, Kraken, you're going to give me your tooth, and you're going to allow me to keep making the Big Bertha, because that's really all I need right now. Come on, Kraken. Come on, guy. 150 damage, 121. You got three hits left in it. Ooh, he's actually got a few more. He seems to be taking less durability or less uh, damage being trapped underneath here. But we got him, and we got his very powerful morph right there. And we also got uh, seven Tier 4 bags are we able to get any tier 5s? Did we get any tier 5 bags out of that? I don't know if we did or not. We got another diamond block right there. Uh, tier 2, tier 4. That's insanity. And we got our Kraken Tooth, obviously. So we got that good. Is there a tier 5 somewhere around here? I actually don't even know what color tier 5 is. I forgot about it already. But the red looks sexy. Let's actually go ahead and open these up right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Did we get any... Oh, we got Spider-Man's mask. 2 Spider-Man. Deadpool! Hey! We got Deadpool! Batman... All right, I like that for sure. Okay, so ink sacks we can go and throw away. What about these guys right here? You are uh, War Machine's boots. All right, so these are like the legit superheroes. And then right here we have Jon Stewart's pants. Uh, so it doesn't really look like we got... We got two Spider-Man. Uh, these are actually different ones. So this is the Spider-Man's mask, and this is the Mile Morales? Morales? Okay, so these are two different Spider-Mans. Interesting. Very, very uh, cool. I wish I knew the difference, but I actually don't. I'm not that, you know, knowledgeable about superheroes. But either way, guys, ladies and gentlemen, 
we just killed the Kraken and got quite a bit of good stuff for our inventory. Either way, so let's go ahead and examine what we've got right now. So we've got the good old Kraken Tooth, and we're going to need from you the Worm Tooth, Vortex Eye, T-Rex Tooth, Caterkiller, and the Sea Viper. And then a few other things that I'll have to research either way. But guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. Uh, by next episode, we'll definitely have a big Bertha. I was going to continue, but... I'm not going to lie, i got some stuff going on around. I do not have that much time to get that episode done. Um, but yeah, this is going to take a while. Like, getting these fights done and everything, it takes a little bit of time. But either way, though, uh, ooh, Unbreaking 5. I like two Unbreaking 5 Iron Leggings. Interesting. We got some uh, Blind Bag Tier 2s. And we did not actually use a single Charm of Life, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put those guys back in there. And uh, yeah, put the superheroes away in there. I'll actually try and see. So let me see here. Uh, tier 5. Yeah, so we got Tier 5 guy of Thor pants that's insanity now Thor I don't actually know what he does and then tier four uh, we go ahead and use it up so we've got oh we actually have two more uh, blind bags we can use hold on let me go ahead and open these guys up right now so we got oh spider girls a oh, spider girl okay so we got spider girl and x 23s mass all right so tier four so we have a uh, spider-man so we got Batman Beyond's uh, pants Deadpool's mask I'm actually gonna wear this right now yo I'm so stoked to see Deadpool and I'm sorry like I have to be I'm sorry but like, I'm gonna wear you know what nah I don't even care if I have, don't have the rest of the suit I'm gonna wear the Deadpool's mask just because he looks like a badass right now I'm so stoked to see that movie it looks incredible but either way though so what else do we have in here we've got uh Iron Man model 26's tunic Iron Man pants ooh Oh, no, that was... I forgot. We actually have, like, a full Iron Man suit. Okay. Uh, John Stewart's pants, Spider-Girl's tunic, Spider-Man's mask, uh, X-23, and War Machine. Okay, so we don't really have a lot of that. Tier 5 is the only item that we've got. In Tier 3, we have uh, a few blind bags of these. Wildcat, Quicksilver, and Human Shorts. Not really worth getting Tier 2 uh, or Tier 1 or even Tier 3, I don't think, in this. We got the Joker. That was a gift by Kara, so I'll pretend that I like it. But either way, though, guys, I think it's going to go ahead and end all this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, I'll definitely have a lot more time to get that done. And uh, I think by the end of the episode, we should have ourselves a big Bertha. And we'll be taking on one of those ultimate dungeons to get that good gear. I might actually even tackle it with Kara. I'm not sure if I can make like a second big Bertha. Ooh, I might actually try and make a second one of those. Maybe give one to her and we can go like fight them together. But either way, guys, take care. Love you all so much. And I'll catch you back next time. Deadpool, Pizza, pizza Pool, Deadza Pool. I don't even know what I am. Signing out. Ciao.